having Heidi over my shoulder here. <laughs> so here's the project I'm going to share today. <laughs> I won't put it to work. I'll be your stew crafter. I'll be like, okay, let's look out. Okay. <laughs> Anything you need? <laughs> so the project I'm going to share with you today also features texture magic. And as you will find out if you don't know already, Heidi and I love this product. And I worked for Delta Creative when they launched this product and I wrote a book and absolutely love this product. There are fewer colors available these days than when they first launched, but it's great because you can use acrylic paint to tint your texture. So what this is, is this is a combination of my eco embellishments, which I am just introducing out in the shop, the marketplace at Cool the Craft. So I'm going to switch cameras here and we'll get on with my demo. What do you say, Heidi? Go for it. Does it work? <laughs> Ta-da! All right. So these are wood blocks. So I love to think of this project as uh, completely eco because these are people. I was just going to say eco. <laughs> <laughs> so these are, this is a project that you can make from scraps of wood. These I happened to buy at Ben Franklin that were already pre-cut. And there's a third one, which didn't make it into the room here. But what you do is you just base coat these with acrylic paint first. And you know, I, Heidi, when you were demoing, there was a discussion about uh, sealing the wood first. Honestly, crafters don't take the time to do that. Now, decorative and tall painters do. Right. And But we crafters, we love to uh, just slap that paint on and get going. So this is one of my eco embellishments. Now, Heidi, you're gonna count? Hold it, one, <laughs> That's a long time. It is, but we want that camera to get in focus. I create these tags that I use from left leftover <laughs> from other projects that I make. So I have just listed these on the marketplace at Cool the Craft. So here's an example of one of the new tags that I have for sale. And you can cut these down if you'd like to to make them fit on pieces of wood like this. So this, these are, uh, I've painted the tag. This is paper towels that I've stamped on and painted. Turn it over. And, well, wait, wait. I need to tell them, these are flower petals that fall off some of the flowers at the shop. And then uh, we've all- It's eco too. It is eco because I'm using them in a project other than throwing them away. The reason I was asking you to turn over is it's really hard to see in this picture that they're stitched. I use I think my that sewing so machine cool. to stitch all of this together. I love that look. So Heidi sounds like that little kid in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Have what? you ever watched the middle? She is a I middle child. Middle child. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to show you is how to add texture into your projects. So I am going to move this aside and put out a puddle of my white texture magic and we have shown this several times throughout today's show so I just like to use the white and then I tint it with my acrylic paint this just happens to be a collection of paint pots that have some cool colors in it and start with just a little bit of paint it doesn't take much now Heidi's looking over my shoulder I was trying to read the oh the chat room okay Remember I told you that my, my screen was smaller and I had to really look harder than your screen? Yes. It is smaller. This is a Delta stencil, Mania stencil that I do sell. I haven't listed it yet in the new marketplace. I need to do that, but I do have this for sale in case anyone's interested. I can have this up for sale by tomorrow. You would get one that's not all painted. You'd get a brand new one. I think the paint looks kind of cool. I know it is, isn't it? <laughs> So you will lay, you could find it. <laughs> <laughs> use stencil, courtesy of Tiffany Windsor. So I'm just placing my stencil over my surface. And you can use a stencil adhesive if you'd like to. In my quick stenciling with my crafting stenciling, I just hold it in place. You pick up your colored texture magic on the back of your palette knife and you just run it right over your stencil. 
Now don't make it too thin on there because then it just starts to look like paint. So you want it to have some sort of texture to it. And then you lift. <laughs> we get sound effects today. And that's how easy it is to add texture to your project. I know that there's a question, I think that Eileen was asking early, earlier about the ridges and if Heidi, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and pull that away, Heidi. Thank you. If Heidi did anything like when she was painting to take away any of the sharp ridges, you can, when this dries, you can sand this if you need to. And so on my project, I see that I do have a couple of peaks and let me see if I can get a little bit closer, but I may just wanna take some fine sandpaper too and sand after this dries overnight. But this gives you an idea of the dimension that you can get and how quickly that goes. This particular product works on any hard surface. It attaches itself to plastic and glass and metal and wood. So it's great to use for all sorts. And you can put it over paper too, if you'd like to. So on this particular project, I cut down one of my eco embellishment tags. And because you can see this is how you buy them. And some people use them with these little ties and some without. So of course, I don't want to put my finger into the wet texture here, Heidi. So of course, you would just glue these in place onto whatever your project is. These would be really cute on a journal cover and all sorts of mixed media crafting. So that is how I create my eco project with my eco embellishments and my texture. Just glue them in place. And then these cute little things, Heidi, go ahead and give that back. Then they actually stand. Well, I can also put the photo back up. Which, Which side is wet? <laughs> okay. So you can just stack these up. Uh, to display them. And in this particular set that I bought, there was one more small. And let me just put this back up so you can see this. There was my, one more small cube. Also, what I want to put up for you is the slide that shows you how you can go to the marketplace and actually shop for my eco embellishment tags. And so, any questions? I know we need to get into. Um, Start inviting all of my guests back in so they can do their wrap up today. So I think everybody needs some texture magic. Again, I do have some for sale. I have it available in white and I will add it to the marketplace, but you can find it in the stencil department at Michael. So I, I'm sure it must be available in your local craft store. So I think so, that everyone needs to, to buy some eco embellishments. I think it's so cool that the work is already done. I mean, yeah, it comes to you in this cool little, um, linen, like a little glassine bag. And it's already done for you. Yes. No problem. No problem to it. I like that. Oh my gosh. I love having my sales <laughs> sister here.